What's up, everybody? It's Matt from the house, and I'm here with Tony from Never Summer, and he's going to run us through the Never Summer Park Board ladder for the 22-23 season. Let's check these out. Really cool thing about the Never Summer boards, and one thing that should be noted is that these are the boards that are primarily going to be ridden in the park, but the incredible thing about these things is that they actually ride awesome outside of the park. Even the first board at $600, this Proto Slinger, I've ridden one of the past versions of this thing and I've ridden it in the powder and it actually rides really, really good. So the cool thing is, is yeah, the guy that's riding the Proto Slinger is probably going to be spending about 70 to 90% of his time riding park, but when he wants to venture outside of the park, this thing rides just like an all mountain board. So what do we got going on in this thing that makes it super, super unique? Uh, well, what you touched on was the versatility and you want to be able to get in and out of the park and when you get some good snow, go have fun in it and not be limited. So you have a very capable all-mountain park board. It features our shockwave profile, amplified sections, camber, a little bit less rocker in between the feet. Super powerful. You can load it up, pop and snap for ollies, nollies. And when you're in an, a turn, an arc is popping you in and out of your turn. That's stored energy. But you have a torsionally soft board, so it's really easy to maneuver and get where you're going. Right. And then this thing's also got a little carbon in it, too, souping it up, right? Absolutely. You've got a little carbon X's in here. It's going to just basically increase the rigidity in the cambered section of the board. And those are the things that really make these boards super, super versatile. When you're adding that little extra camber in the nose and tail, you're adding that carbon underneath your feet, you can have a board that's a little bit softer and easier feel for ride park, but when you're riding fast and you really rail on it, it pushes back like it's a stiffer all-mountain board. All right, and then jumping up to 655, we've got the Proto Synthesis. The Proto's gone through a lot of different versions throughout the years, but this is probably one of the best-selling boards because, yeah, it's meant for riding park, but it rides the entire mountain incredibly well. And what are we getting for that extra 55 bucks? Uh, for that uptick, you get a carbon recluse weave that's underneath the cambered section of the board, which increases the pop, snap, rigidity in this section of the board. More stable at speeds, more uh, capable of bigger mountain riding. We also added a dampening pad in the center of the board, just going to absorb chatter and vibrations, make for a little bit smoother ride underfoot. So you have the benefits of a true twin, park-capable board that is uh, super versatile. All right, and then jumping up to 685, we've got the Proto Ultra. As if the Proto wasn't good enough, this is for those guys that like to charge super, super hard when they're yeah. in the park. But again, this thing can ride incredibly well everywhere. Yeah. But what are we getting for those couple extra bucks? Well, super capable board, park crusher, high speed stability, uh, very, very stable for bigger features. You're getting added carbon. So throughout this section of the board in the cambered area, we have the carbon X through here. Same with this camber section, carbon X under the base. And under the top sheet of the board, in between the feet, we have another carbon X going through here which is gonna make the center of the board more rigid. This board also features our triple camber profile, which has another section of camber in between the feet. Overall, it is still rocker dominant, but we added camber, chunk of camber, and then camber pocket. So uh, in and out of turns off of kickers, it's explosive, it's incredibly stable at high speeds, absolute park dominator. Yeah, and this thing too, we got a little upgrade in the core too, this little bamboo We did the woo right? core in this one just to try to strength to weight ratio. It's pretty incredible to see exactly how light this thing is. But like Tony was saying, if you're riding the park on this thing, you're probably hitting the big jumps, you're hitting the big lines, you're not tooling around nice and easy. This is definitely for those advanced riders like Chris Corning. And obviously outside of the park, it's going to handle its own because if it rides fast and big inside the park, it's going to ride fast and big outside of the park as well. All right, well, thanks for checking out the park ladder of the 2223 boards from Never Summer. And if you got any questions about these boards or any of the Never Summer boards that we have at thehouse.com, definitely leave some comments down below. We're on there every single day trying to answer your questions. We want to make sure we get you into some rad gear, but most importantly, we want to make sure that it's actually going to fit you and it's going to fit your specific riding style. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, definitely get that notification bell in too so you can find out when all the new videos drop. Grab yourself a new Never Summer Park board and get out and ride. Ride, because any day riding is a good day riding.